Hey guys, Thomas from Team Sakurasu here. Come at you guys with another Yu-Gi-Oh! news video. And today, we have all the Photon Hypernova Starlights revealed. These are confirmed. And I'm going to tell you guys what I think of these, as well as what I think the price is going to be. Because I always get so many questions about upcoming Starlights, what I think is going to be a Starlight. Hey, do, should we grab this? Oh, how much do you think this will be worth? So I'm going to do all of that in one video. And trust me, I, someone's probably still going to be in the comment section below asking, wait, what should we pick up Tri Brigade Arms for? Anyway, also, if you guys enjoy these videos, leave a like and subscribe. We're almost at 3,600 subs. Uh, I think we're like 25 subscribers away. Also, uh, thank you to the people who are YouTube channel members. You guys really help the channel keep going. Um, I know that I always say thank you every video, but I really do mean it, especially because monetization is like 20% of what my revenue is, if even. Like, YouTube ads are just something. Uh, also, if you're buying any cards off TCG Player, please use my fill link down in the description below. Helps out the channel to know this should cost you. And check out Dual Daddy on Twitter. Uh, I always get my, my news from him uh, and a few other sources. And I think the way he gives news, as well as some other stuff he does on his Twitter, is pretty cool. So I'm going to link him in the description below. Go check him out. Uh, if you have Twitter, unfortunately, uh, you might as well follow someone cool, right? Uh, and I have a Twitter, too, in the description below if you want to follow me as well. And we're going to start in opposite order here. So Mirror Jade, Ice Blade, Dragon here. Now, the, a lot, the majority of people really love this card, but there are a good portion that are like, why did they get another Starlight? Now, look. Branded slash Despia are very, very popular, right? I would probably say even, I know tiers, the tier zero, uh, you know, is, is this tier zero format tier limit is the deck and all that. But a majority of players just love playing Brandon and Despia. I think that a lot of players, including myself, just like fusion decks. Uh, I think fusion is just a really cool extra deck uh, uh, summoning way. And it's dope. And, as well as just how simple it is. Plus, the artwork looks amazing, and I think Mirror Jade, personally, was a very, very good choice. Definitely going to be a fan favorite, since it's already a fan favorite archetype. I see this card, honestly, being anywhere from, I think, pre-release, we're going to see something like 500-ish, 4 to 500. Uh, I think this card is going to sell around 250 to 350, 400. And that's where I think it's going to settle around. I think the pre-release is going to be very, very bad for this. But Photon Hypernova, it's going to be opened up quite a bit. And not every brand, the Spy player, is going to look... They're going to look at Mirage and be like, Oh, it's going to be cool if I pull it, but I can't, I'd rather not buy this. I'd rather pay my bills with that money or something like that. Uh, so we will see how correct I am on this. If you want this card, definitely wait for the set to drop. And keep an eye on this uh, every week of the set's release because you know during the second or third week after the official release of photo hypernova this could drop to 300 and i think if this card goes around 300 i think it's a fine pickup now gold pride captain carry over here starlight right now i actually love gold pride i had a video about it which didn't do too bad I got about 600 views and Go check that out, by the way. I tell you guys, I show you guys some other things of what the deck could do at that point. People have probably already broken this deck even more. The only thing that is a gamble with Gold Pride is if Konami is going to be smart enough to understand to support this archetype in the next set. Right now, with its current cards, you play it with Punk, it looks like. You end on like two negates and two bounces, right? Uh, as well as something else. I forgot what it was, but I explained in the video. Um, as well, it has a lot of combo and recursion, right? The deck is actually pretty decent, right? I really, really like it, and I actually plan on playing this archetype. So, if I pull this Starlight Carry, I'm definitely... I, and I'm going to say this right now in the video. If I pull out of my case a Captain Carry, I will get two more Starlights and to play the deck and give you guys a deck profile, which... Uh, you guys are going to get a deck profile pretty soon in February. Um, I have an Edison deck profile that is almost done, and I have a normal deck profile. So, look forward to that, as well as a market watch later on today. Yes, it is a double upload. So, you know, I couldn't give you guys, the, you know, all the starlights and a double upload uh, within the same sentence. I mean, you guys would just get too excited, right? But yeah, I think that this card, I actually really like this as a Starlight Red pick. Having faith in your TCG exclusive archetypes is always going to be really good. Now, in a different reality, they are releasing Warrock for some reason in Photon Hypernova. And we just got, you know, 
the, the one of the ultras as a secret and we're and everyone's like oh yeah we're definitely gonna get support for this but no at least with warlock you couldn't do anything with a gold pride is like leagues better than mo a lot of archetypes we get that konami forgets about so i think that this card it really just it's gonna be very different if you see this card for 120 or less i think that it's a good gamble to get out right even like 130 140 right i'll even go that far because if this archetype gets more support or people realize that it's actually good, they will go to 200 something. Uh, for sure. I see pre release. Don't even bother. Don't, don't even bother with what it is on pre release. Uh, unless it's what I told you, which was low. Try Brigade Arms. Now, look, this card looks amazing. And I look, and you know what? As a Starlet Rare, I think people are going to want it for artwork alone. Is the card good, though? I don't think it's as bad as people think. But no, it's not good. It's it's not that good. Um, I don't even know if Tribe Brigade is gonna play a copy. Like a lot of people are like, yeah, I'd just rather use the flex bot for something else. Um, I see this Starlet Rare definitely being below two hundred. I really I don't think I would touch it unless you like it for the artwork or you really want it for some other reason. Uh, if you see this card, people are trying to get rid of it for very very cheap. Like, you know, if this card drops to like less than a hundred, might be might be cute to look at. But this is kind of a card where it's like you're getting it because you want it for yourself. You don't want it to sell later on, right? That is what Tribegate Arms is as a Starlight Rare. So I'm not going to beat the bush anymore. Cash Tira Arise Heart. Now, very good Starlight pick. I think this is a good card. First of all, I really, I rather Dex uh, choose a extra deck Starlight than a main deck Starlight. Usually, right? At least for their first Starlight. Uh, with Gold Pride, I actually think they, they made the best choice. But that's just because I, I really... this. So, if you guys don't know, I'm a big Tales of fan, right? Uh, like Tales of Symphonia, Tales of Berseria, Tales of Arise, and Tales of Vesperia. And if you guys have played Tales of Vesperia, you will know why I like this card. Um, so, I really love pirate stuff. I, I think it's just super dope, right? I love the aesthetic as well. 10 out of 10 Starlight Rare. I don't know how I got to this point, but back to Kestira Arise for it. Uh, Kestira, they're going to be Tier 1. Uh, will they be Tier 0? Well, we have to see this ban list. We have to see what Konami decides to do to Tier Limit. Um, I think it's just going to be Tier 1. Uh, that's where I'm putting my guess. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Starlight Rare, probably going to be around... I think on pre-release, we're going to have another $500 Starlight on our hands. Uh, this card is definitely... It's not going to dip. I'll tell you that. It's not going to dip below 300. I think this card is going to be definitely the biggest Starlight Rare hit. Uh, I would probably just keep an eye on this. If you see, if you want this card and you see it for less than, say, 350 400 on pre-release, I think it's a good card to grab. But I see this card starting at 500 and it could just go up to 600 something uh, we've had expensive Starlight Rares in the past, and this card will definitely appreciate more as time goes on, especially if Kestira become a, a deck that people just love playing as a fan favorite. Now, there's a difference between uh, decks that are meta-relevant, like Tier 1, all that, and fan favorite decks. They sometimes go hand-in-hand, hand, but sometimes, sometimes they just don't, right? So... Arise Heart, I mean, I, if you if you want this start, I'm just going to say, you're spending a lot of money regardless. And then we have the last one, which is Grandulog the Dusk Dragon, Starlight Rare. Now, I think this card looks amazing. I love how this artwork looks. I personally uh, think that this Starlight Rare will probably be around, I want to say, pre-release could be around, I think, 300 uh, but I think the overall AL sell between 200 could go 180, 170, but it could also settle around 250, 260. If you have interest in it and you see it for, say, less, if, you, if it's valued at less than 200, uh, definitely shoot offers at that person on pre release because I think that's not bad for a Starlight Rare. I don't think it's going to crash hard at all, uh, especially because. This it's definitely not going to go below 170 because 180 because let's be real this is going to be the worst performing Starlight Rare Gold Pride's probably going to be second. Uh, this is going to be the, this is going to be the middle one and then it's Mirror Jade and Kestura as a race to first. Uh, I guess I'm going to put my bets on Kestura at first and then Mirror Jade is going to be like the turtle and the rabbit where the turtle wins eventually. Uh, AK Mirror Jade it comes through later on. Uh, in value, but I think this is going to be the number three Starlight Rare. Uh, this is going to be the least expensive arms, second gold pride. 
third the fusion and then again second first Kashira and mirror jade so that's what i have to say about these star rares i want to know in the comment section below what are you guys picking up for these star rares remember i am getting a case i don't know if i'm gonna get it friday or if i'm gonna be able to get it a little bit earlier uh i'm frankly not too sure um personally but i definitely don't want to pay an arm and a leg for my case so i'm seeing what i'm going to be able to do today on that uh leave a like if you guys enjoyed and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the, in the market watch probably around anywhere from three ish four to like five ish ish hours from now peace